What up, Scopies? All right, we got exciting stuff today. Check out what I got right here. Some ultra rare merch. But I promise, this is not a merch scopy. No more merch scopies. I lost my voice. I was screaming a lot in Vegas. We're not talking about drive.ai. We're not talking about... You don't even shout them out, bro. Oh, yeah, I got a haircut. I got a shave, too. Look, I shaved. All right, we got some mapping stuff today. Yeah, right? What's up? We'll even try it. We'll try it on a user route, too, so I show you that this isn't just bullshit. We'll see if R.C. Risman comes back. I'll tell him, on scope now. So first, I'll try it on one of mine. So this is what it looks like while it's running. It takes a little bit. It's got to boot up here. It's got to filter out all the crap. Yeah, there we go. Now, wait, hang on. It's just got to reinitialize. Yep, just fast forward a bit. All right, now we're initialized. Let's map. So I'll move this guy out of the way here. Oops. And now we're making a map. I'm going to turn you guys. So let's put this over here. There we go. So you can see that this is a map. This is done using sensor fusion. This is a gray panda route. I just disabled these. I don't need that. Look at the lanes. Look at the quality of that stuff here, guys. Look at the quality of those lanes being recovered. Stuff's precise to 10 centimeters. Okay. So I've actually already made this map. And now let me show you what it looks like when you relocalize in the map. So when you're like figuring out, okay, where's the picture with respect to the map? And I'll show you what it looks like. Now remember, this is all in world frame coordinates. So we actually have all of these points. Every single one of these little points we have in full ECEF coordinates. So let's take a look at this. And I think this is gonna be pretty cool. Look at that, guys. That's the precision to which we're covering the lanes in the world. 10 centimeters. That's what's gonna be used to train the newest models coming out in the next open pilot. Look at that precision, guys. Look at it. Boom. Yo, I love shipping. You know I love shipping. Right, let's try it on another one. We're gonna have to do a little bit of processing on it. Remember, this is live. I haven't actually tested any of this, so who knows if any of it's gonna work. But yeah, so if, if, if RC Risman gets back to me and sends me a route, we'll try it on a user-contributed route as well. Um, yeah, so that's that. Uh, I have others that I've already made the map for. Mapping takes a bit of time. Mapping takes about, about five minutes per minute. But the good news is, who cares? Because we'll just buy more computers. Because computers are so cheap, y'all. All right. Let's see what else we got. Let's go over here to, what do I have? Orbs, slam, only. Okay, we also, have seg we also have the 26th minute of this process. So let's take a look here. We're gonna have to do a little bit of running. All right. Using the vision data, we're filtering this all together in a beautiful, unified architecture. Look, look, look at this map coming along, guys. Look at this map, the precision of this stuff. All right, we're processing. Process, process, process. Man, we don't need more machines. We can buy all the machines we want from the cloud. All right, and then it processes. Gotta save all the stuff to disk. It saves all this debug information to disk. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that turn. Yo, is that model gonna be precise or what? That's localizing itself in the map. I won't wobble, I won't nothing. Using the flat world hypothesis. Look at that precision. That's amazing, y'all. 
finally are getting some good results with mapping. And I swear, I'd never tried this. I'd never tried this section before. That just localized us in the map. Look at how it's seeing the lane right through that car. Beautiful. Yeah, look, man, don't believe the hype. How about overcorrection? What overcorrection? I didn't see any overcorrection. Was there overcorrection? Is Kami using this? No, we don't actually have a new model yet. We're working on it. Um, okay, we have, a, we have a route right here. Unfortunately, it takes so long. Hang on, let's just, let's just take a look at one more of mine. Um, are we using the cloud? We're using the cloud for parts of it. The new ML guy's pretty good. Um, all right, let's just look at this one. I'll wait for that, it's almost finished. I will try it on a user route quickly too. So remember, what this is doing right now is localizing us in the map. So this stuff will also all run at test time as well. So all the eons will be able, if you guys saw that we shipped Orb D in the last release, using those features, we'll be able to put every eon live into a map with this sort of precision. Yeah, take a look at that. Oh, that's pretty good. Holds off by a little bit more. It could be more precise. I don't know, we're gonna be, we're gonna far exceed Super Cruise. Yeah, we're making point cloud maps of the whole world. Um, and we're gonna, we're gonna give parts of it away for free. We're gonna give where all the lanes are in the world away completely free. Um, our HD maps, like equivalent to what all the other companies are making as HD maps, we're, we're just gonna give them away for free. I don't care. Uh, I just love winning. Y'all know me. Cool guys, take a look at that. All right, let's try it on a user app. times in the real world time. I don't know how to use that. What minute is good? Okay, well, if it starts at 48, then let me try it on some side roads. Let's try it on some side roads. Let's try 13. I don't know what we're gonna get. All right, guys. We're running a user route right here. This route is user contributed with a gray panda. No voice. I mean, no voice. You guys, you guys sometimes say you can't hear me. I think that's a lie. Yeah, I knew it was a lie. All right, so we gotta run the Segnat. Cause we gotta filter out the cars. The problem with cars is they don't move like the rest of the scene. Um, so this stuff is also all hacked up to kind of be single threaded. So it runs nicely on cloud machines. All right, we're gonna load up all the frames here. Notice possible overexposure on Dcam. Yeah, I know, I gotta redo the exposure. Ugh. I was like halfway doing it, but I had date lap that night and I went out and then I didn't finish fixing the exposure on the driver camera. I know I have to do that. Next release, y'all, next release. Oh, you guys know we're hiring. We're trying to hire someone to come in full time to work on the driver monitoring stuff. So if you know anyone, if you got any smart friends, tell them, give me a job at comma.ai. The car properties aren't that important. You just code them in. All right, let's see what we got here. Yeah, that's fine. That always crashes the first time because it has to load GTK and GTK is broken. All right, cool. All right, at initialize fast. RC Risman, here's your route being mapped right here. Here's the map being created. This guy, uh, it's hard to hit the keys. Here's your map being created right here. Tell the people in Slack, tell them I'm not lying. You have a gray panda, you have an Eon. We can make maps out of your stuff. Look at the lane lines, you can see them all there. Look at them. 
Very nice, eh? Darn Explorer doesn't display time. I'm not support, man. Email support come AI. <laughs> Definitely you're out. There you go. Notice how the cars have all been filtered out. That's thanks to you guys with comma coloring. The driver video challenge, we've gotten very few submissions. No good ones yet. I don't think it's that hard. Uh, we have one candidate who came in in person who I'm, I'm excited about. Hopefully he'll do a good job. Um, but yeah. So we're at frame 861. So unfortunately, mapping takes forever. Yeah, I mean, this is all part of the pipeline. So we can just enable this in the cloud. Um, how goes hacking Super Cruise? Well, you know, Ricardo, he's on vacation this week. So there's no Super Cruise hacking. Um, can you map the route without lane markings? Absolutely. We, we just, it doesn't matter. You gotta have a gray panda though. If you have a gray panda, because you need a gray panda to avoid scale drift. Um, can OP drive while training maps? Yeah, that's fine. Is why we make maps. Um, but yeah, this stuff is really all starting to work. Uh, we'll see how long I hang out with you guys. If I hang out with you guys long enough, we can actually look at the lanes. We can relocalize this route in the map. Um, all, you know, globally accurate. Map looks pretty cool, right? Do it. Yeah, we'll see how long we hang out. Um, so this is using the visualizer from Warp Slam. We've hacked in all our own sensors to it as well. And some people might say, oh, why do you show this all off? Because guys, Elon was talking about it. I'm so happy when he talks like this. Um, this isn't like, this isn't a secret. What we're doing here, none of this is secrets, but if you try to compete with us, you'll find that we are just doing it better than you. Like other companies are all trying to work on this same problem as well. Um, and you know, it, it took us a bit. You guys have watched the other mapping periscopes and you've seen how it's been, how it's been worse. Um, and now it's starting to get better. Oh, so that one's finally done. Right, let's see what frame we're at. All right, we're at frame 384. So we got another 400 to go. We could try farm roads maybe on the next one. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, there's no, there's no secret in the idea. There's only secrets in the execution. The secrets in how we've actually wired all this stuff. Look at those lanes, guys. Look at that, look at that precision. And these are all, the, all these points are globally accurate. So these aren't some points in some relative space. These are in global ECEF space. Um, do we use lanes to calculate? Yeah, we use lanes to calculate where you are and then we know where to drive, right? Um, no, 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 guys, look, if you want like open pilot, look, here's the thing about open pilot. All right, so first off, you're a bot and you're banned. Open pilot is beta, it's, it's alpha software. We're not like looking to add, and this is maybe why I get overly frustrated when people ask for features. Like we're not looking to add features. This is not a consumer product. We're not looking to build a consumer experience. If you want it to do whatever, like suspend on blinker or whatever, it's open source. That stuff is well within the realm of somebody to add with an hour of hacking. Um, if you want to, yeah. So we, we record the beginning and end of all the lane lines uh, perfectly in our map. We actually record all of these 3D points in our map. So every single point you see here actually has a point in the world. So let's save the map. It's gonna put the map in the database. All right, saving the map. And then that's gonna finish up once that's done. Takes a little bit. The maps are kind of big because you see all the points that they have. And the stuff is horrendously slow because it uses like JSON and crap. Okay, so that's that. We don't want features, just drive in the middle and we're good. Uh, yeah, no, we, we, again, it's gonna be better. The lateral control is gonna get better. Better is not a feature. Um, what do we do when someone goes through the same route again? Yes, we merge the maps. Um, and it'll, it'll, that'll get better with time. Uh, how big are the maps specifically? 
All right, so now we gotta download that GPS shit from NASA. Let's post process all the GPS to make sure that this stuff is all actually correct within the world to 10 centimeters, not just locally correct to 10 centimeters. Um, what was your question before that? Yeah, I grabbed that shit from NASA. What are they doing between the red and the black? The red is what's visible right now. The red is what's visible from the current frame, okay. So now we're reprocessing dual gray panda RTK. It's not necessary. We just download all this stuff from NASA and it's pretty good. Um, the combo base stations are kind of uh, on hold. Okay. So, oh, we got to process that. Oh, that's going to take forever. <laughs> hey, let me fix that bug, guys. I can fix this bug up fast. Well, it's not a bug, it just processes too much stuff and we don't actually need to process all of that. So that's in test, mesh 3D. Self same from all from route cameras that we don't need all from. Let's just do frame cache like that. Is that gonna work? Let's try that. Oh yeah, there we go. Look at that. So this is good stuff that we can then go train on as soon as we're ready. Look at that precision, guys. Look at that precision. That's all three-dimensionally accurate. Uh, it's cache locally. It's totally cache locally. I just haven't run any maps on this computer. We cache all the NASA data. Look at that precision. Boom. Yeah, I see your ping pong. Don't worry, we'll fix it. Cool, guys. So let's watch it one more time. This is a user route that I didn't know about before this periscope started. This actually works on all the routes now, pretty much. I think, I think we're down to like maybe a 10% failure rate. And of course, if you're training a model, you don't actually need to work on all of them. Um, that's now added to our completely global map. Uh, next time, next time we'll do a downtown map. It's actually easier. Uh, do I have integrated 3D map with OpenPilot working already? Yes, I, it already completely works. I just hold it back from you guys because I'm cruel and evil. Um, <laughs> no, uh, the maps for nighttime are the same. Uh, we have canonicalizers. There's some cute ways to do it. Maybe I'll talk about it sometime. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed the first successful mapping periscope. Everything worked. We put a user route in. You can see the top of the board there. We're going to be better than Super Cruise. How do we plan on processing all the world? Using lots of computers. Thanks for watching. Make sure to buy shit. Shop.com.ai. You know where it is. All right. All right. We're the most lit self-driving car team on Twitter. Make sure to follow us at comma. AI, if you're asking every time someone asks for the ETA for something, we push the date out one day. We push it out one day. So if you ask seven times, it's seven days late. We actually already have it all incredible. We just keep it secret. No, that's a lie. But make sure to buy our shit. Shop.com. Follow us on Twitter. Comma underscore AI. Watch out for fake news. There's a lot of fake news out there. Props to Waymo, by the way, for releasing that video uh, of the crash. Uh, totally, totally not Waymo's fault. Um, a car literally jumped across the median and hit them. So uh, always good to see people being transparent and open. That's what we love to see. Thank you for joining.